Hello, it's Joe Glines. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a couple um, functions in, that I've written in a hotkey that rely on Excel object uh, properties and functions. And what I'm doing here is we're going to get the uh, the first row, the last row, and then the used rows um, in Excel. And so first off, um, hopefully you've seen the other video where I talk about getting a pointer to the Excel application. And in here, because I've built in the um, the hierarchy, I can actually go ahead and just point to the, the application level um, instead of the worksheet level, which is where these are, but because I have this in here, it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do is, uh, let's actually, let's say, so here's a, this is the first row function that I've written in auto hotkey, and what it's going to do is it's going to take the, the handle to Excel, and it's going to go, um, call this, when it calls this function, it passes it to it, and that, of course, is going to populate this value here. Um, so that's my Excel object I got from up here, and it's going to return back um, the used range of, the, and this one here indicates, you know, return back the first row in Excel. And so let me actually let me add a little bit here. First row there. So now when I run this, it's saying the first row is row two, right? Because it's the first row where there's any data. If I had something in here, when I run it the first row would be 1, right? Or if I got rid of all of that, it would be 3. Let's go back and even say if I had something here. So now we're back to 2, right? It's not looking at the column, it's looking at the row. So it's a nice easy way to say, hey, where, especially if your header isn't in the first row, um, this is how, if you're looking for a header, um, that you can detect where it is, right? So that's that one. Let's go ahead and comment that out, and we'll go to the next one here, and this is going to be the last row, so... Last row... And the last row is four. Oh. Um, so that's this row. Right, and if I added a cell down here with a value, right, now it jumps down to ten. So again, this is using this, um, sorry, wrong one, the last row function, right, which you can see when I highlighted here, it passes the Excel object down to it, says get the used range rows, but then within that, get back the count, and this um, returns back the last row used. Um, but what if I wanted to know the um, number of rows that have a value? So it's going to count, actually in this one, um, I think it'll, I'm, I'm not sure if it'll, I think it counts everything in between, so it should be 2 to 10, which was, what, 8? Um, so let me comment this one out, and the used rows, um, so it's going to call this function, which is going to jump down to here, um, to the used rows, and get used range, which is um, a method inside of Excel object, um, and return the rows, and return the count of the rows. So let's see what, what this shows me here. Oh, nine. Okay. But it is, um, it, it, so the first one isn't used, but then these are. So if I was to get rid of this value, and we run it, now we're back to three. And what I'll do for this one is, um, often if I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to start, like I have, um, because I'll, I'll have a selection, it'll get the first one, and then I say how many are used, and it's a, it's a quick, easy way for me to get the uh, information that I want. And actually, um, that, that's what I was going to cover in this one. Um, here is my function for getting the pointer back to Excel. But uh, that's it. I just wanted to have a brief one of, of showing how you can easily, programmatically grab the first row, the um, the last row. And, and obviously, so let's say you wanted, you didn't want to include the header, Right, so you want to figure out where the first row was, but the first row is a header. So, so let me go back to here. So, first row. So let's 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 change this to mean first row of data, right? Which means basically I would exclude the header. In here, you know what? Let's even do this. Let's I'm gonna remove that from here, and I'm gonna say first row of data, and I'm gonna set it equal to this. But of course, I want to say plus one, right? Because it's gonna, this is gonna return the first row of data. But I want to add one to it because that that had a row. And so now, let me copy that, put that here. 
So it, it's telling me the first row of data, right? This would have been my header row. Is in row three, right? Um, and obviously, if I had, let's go ahead and just get rid of this. Rerun it. Now the first row of data is in row two. So it's just a way you can programmatically um, figure out where you are. You also could put in some logic to say, um, make one function call that does both. I have that where it, it, it'll say, look, do you want to return the first row if there's a header or not? And there's just some simple logic in there. But that's it. Thanks.